At Lowe's, we believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> give us one weekend, we'll give you five projects. This is crazy. And you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> this is The Weekender. This weekend, I'm working with Lowe's to help a couple with their primary bedroom. Caitlin and Dan moved into this charming Victorian home in this cute little town just outside of Philadelphia. They've done an amazing job DIYing and working through the rest of their home renovations, but like so many, they left their primary bedroom for last. Liz and I are gonna help them to really infuse their personal style into this space, and I'm so excited about what they want for this room. So this is our bedroom, which uh, as you can see, there's not a ton going on. It feels different than all the rooms we just walked through that had like so much style and color, but it's a great space. Yeah, this house in particular is, it's from 1903 and it has like all the things we love about Victorian work, which is like the high ceilings, there's interesting woodwork, yep. this bay <laughs> window is awesome, the radiators are even really, really so gorgeous. So cool, I love that so much. Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Caitlin. The primary bedroom is a space that's really just for the two of us, so it felt like the easiest space to kind of ignore. And at this stage, we have a lot of decision fatigue where we've picked out so many things for other rooms. And this was a space where we were like, we'll just throw our old furniture in there. So we're really looking forward to having Monica come into the space and kind of help us figure it out and make it feel like it's our own. Tell me a little bit what do you want this to feel like? We need storage for clothes. Um, we love, the things we love about the house are we love like the molding on the bottom and everything. So we'd love to see more of that. It's an old Victorian and it's, we want to lean into sort of like the look of that. I mean, we're not afraid of some patterns. We're not I know, afraid I of love some that. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. What I was seeing from like some of your inspiration that you sent, it was definitely like cottage meets maximalist, meets like my grandmother, <laughs> meets like a lot of pattern, textures, colors. I kind of landed with like granny chic because I feel like that sort of pulls together all of those. And then I, is that, how's that sound? She's a yeah. chic granny. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, that's what it is. Okay, we have a lot of work to do, so let's clear out this room, we'll put everything over into the guest room, and then we'll have a blank slate to work with. That cool. sounds great, let's all do right. it. So many of you ask for tips on pulling together your own spaces and how I go about designing a weekender space. So I thought it would be fun to take you behind the scenes to show you how Lowe's really is my one-stop design destination. Okay, so what does weekender prep look like at Lowe's? There are a few departments that I hit more in the beginning. So definitely gonna be paint, lighting, rugs, home decor, pillows indoor and out, and definitely the garden center for plants. But those departments kind of inform and help me pull the whole design together. So I'll take you along. After I've chosen my main paint colors, I often come to the spray paint section because I don't know if you know this about me, but I like to customize things. And a lot of times I can get some really good color inspiration, like this fella coming home with me now I'm in lighting and what I love here is that I can mix and match so I think I'm gonna go with a bell shade but then I'm gonna pair it with I just found this and remember that spray paint aisle we went to I might have some plans for that lamp here is where they have like discount rugs or really reasonably priced ones but just kind of laid out don't sleep on these oh gosh that one is so cute look at this pattern love it this vase is perfect it totally matches with our paint color i have my rug i have my paint i have plants i have some cool accessories i'm feeling good about this First project, we talked a lot about leaning into the character that we already have going on in here. So what we're gonna do is actually add additional molding to the room. Yes. Feel good about that? I feel excellent about that. <laughs> okay, I was good. hoping you'd say that, I love it. <laughs> we're gonna use a combination of pieces that will cut and do custom, and then these awesome ones that I found at Lowe's. These are so cool. I love the curves in the corner. That's amazing. Aren't they good? Yes, they're very good. To install this molding for the prefab pieces, we're using construction adhesive on the back and then actually just using painter's tape to hold them into place. The walls that we're working on are either plaster or brick, so a little trickier to work with, but this molding is PVC, so it's super lightweight and perfect for this type of application. 
For the bottom section, we only have to make a few cuts at a 45 degree angle, so we have our perfect square corners. And then we are attaching that on using construction adhesive and painter's tape. By adding more new molding, what it's gonna do is make us notice the awesome original molding so much more because it's only at the floor. There's no crown in here. By adding more molding, we're really kind of being like, hey, look at all the good stuff we already have going on in here. What do you think? I think it looks incredible. I am like so excited about it. It makes the it makes room look fancier. It is a fancy. fancy room. We are one step closer to Granny Chic. Yeah. We're gonna move on to some painting. And I was saying like paint's usually one of the first things that I do, so it was right. fun to have a, a whole project before we paint, but we do have a lot of painting, so we gotta get to it. So I'm gonna show you the paint color. Okay. How are you feeling about this? I'm feeling extremely nervous. Oh, I'm great. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, You're easy breezy. I, it's. I'm not kidding when I say like I'm. I'm so sick of making decisions. So like. You're just happy I made the choice. Rock and roll. Yeah. It's all good so far. So. Ready to say? Yeah. All right. Ready. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great color. It is a great color. So it's a blue. It feels rich and deep to me, but it's not super dark. Okay, and that's good because I'm painting everything in this room this color. Okay, we're doing the walls. We are doing the trim, and we are doing the ceiling. Whoa. All the this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> good. <laughs> The idea of painting the walls trim and ceiling the same color isn't a new one. It actually used to be done a long time ago. Like historic homes would often have the walls and the trim painted the same color. For them, it's gonna be perfectly aligned with the age of their home and the style they're going for long term. You have to step back over here and take this in. Oh, I hadn't looked up in a while. You haven't great. looked up in a while. I'm very into it. I can't wait to see the whole space like this. I know. Well, we will in just a few short hours, so let's keep painting. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, we focused primarily on the walls of this space. Today, we're gonna focus on bringing all the things in and we're gonna start it off with a furniture project. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. What is this? <laughs> this is our first project that we're gonna work on. I know that like clothing storage was an issue for you guys. For sure. And I saw this piece on Lowe's.com and thought it was perfect to fit in this area. But of course I'm not gonna leave it just as is. <laughs> I have big plans to kind of take this a little more into that layered granny chic that we've been talking about. Perfect. So my plan for this is that we're actually gonna remove the doors, take them downstairs, and we're gonna cut out all of these slats. Okay. And replace them with fabric so we can bring in some pattern. I love it. Pop these down. Pop this down right there. So I picked up Love. These super fun curtain panels at Lowe's. And one panel will take care of each and we'll just kind of customize them, cut them. Yeah, I'm a big gingham fan. This is awesome. We're gonna drill a pilot hole in the middle so we can drop the saw down in. Okay. And then we'll use the jigsaw. They're in like a groove, so if we push down, okay. we'll just have like a little bit of cleanup to do. So satisfying, right? For this part, we want to make sure that we're working on the back side and we're going to use a staple gun okay. to basically like pleat and put in our permanent ruffles in there. Perfect. And we'll attach it right on. I love it. I think it looks so different. And then like this will give you the idea of what it will look like once it's back on the door. I'm so excited about it. It looks totally different than it did with the slats. So let's finish up the other two and then I'm gonna do the install myself because I wanna save lots of surprises for you. I love a surprise. Okay, right, good. All right, I'm super pumped to work on this project with you. I bet you can kind of guess what we're doing. Not really. <laughs> Is it curtains? <laughs> Was obvious, yeah, it's curtains. Yeah, okay, no, no, I know, it's curtains, it's curtains. I chose these super glamorous velvet curtains. Wow. They're, they're cool, really, right? They're really nice. I feel like the, the sheen on it will 
it's, it's its own kind of cool texture. We really want to draw attention to these windows. So instead of putting our curtain panels directly on the windows, we're going to put them kind of along this flat wall plane. We're going to mount them to the ceiling and basically they're going to like draw your attention towards these. So we're going to frame it out. Okay. Great. I picked up some really great rods. Allen and Roth, really simple oiled rub bronze. And I had to pick up two because we're gonna combine them to make the full length of the room. These brackets are gonna go into the ceiling. I already have two anchors in there. I kind of think of curtains as like drawing attention to something, not covering it up. So it's kind of like a movie theater or a stage. The curtains on the side kind of direct you towards what the main action is in the middle. See how it frames out this section more? Yeah. And even like, Swagging back. So yeah. Chef's kiss, real Beautiful. fancy. For my final project, it's not one big project, it's a bunch of little projects. I went to Lowe's, picked out a ton of items that I loved, and then I'm doing small little DIY projects to customize them. I found these awesome nightstands that I loved because they were a little bit bigger and they have a really beautiful vintage style. They came with this awesome hardware, but they were a really stark white color. So that can easily be fixed with a little pink. I primed them and then painted them this rich kind of goldenrod yellow that just really pops against all the blue tones in here. I chose to leave the wood top the same so that there was a little bit more of a layering and a contrast in there. I found these lamps, but I thought we'd change up the color with a little bit of spray paint. Spray painted them this rich orange, and then for the shade, took some fabric trimming and hot glued it around the edge. Completely changes the look and makes it perfect for this space. Dan helped me hang the curtains and the rod, but what he didn't know is that I had one more customization that I had in mind. I found on Lowe's.com this amazing wallpaper. I decided that I would create a one by eight board that almost acts as a cornice going across here to cover our rod. It really visually draws your eye as soon as you walk into the room. And again, drawing the eye up and really creating this nook here as something special. The radiators in this space were one of the amazing features that it already had going for it, and I wanted to draw more attention to them. So I painted them a couple shades darker than my wall color. It's really gonna make it more of a feature now. If you have an old radiator, you can paint them. and <laughs> You don't even need a specialty paint. They don't get so hot that they'll melt paint, so it's safe to do it. I mean, make it a focal point. It's such a unique character-driven item that new homes today don't have. Switching out the hardware on a piece of furniture is one of the simplest things you can do to make it more customized. So this was the original hardware, totally fine, would have worked in this room, but when I was walking through the hardware section at Lowe's, these guys caught my eye. But of course, we didn't just keep them white, and now it has a nice contrast from the new fabric. I think it's perfect for this space. All right, guys, this has been so fun for me to work in this, such a cool house this weekend. So on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh, oh. It looks so different. Oh my God. This is crazy. Oh my God. Having the bed against this wall and having the space that otherwise was behind the headboard and that we didn't really use, mm -hmm. but as like a nice little sitting area is so cozy and sweet. I love that. It's like a hangout space now. The wallpapering in the panels is such a nice touch. I yeah. love that. Even like all the mix of stuff, so having like the gingham on the bed, but it ties in over here and there's like a lot of different patterns without them like clashing. This looks nice and big and yeah. like this yeah. is great has a lot of storage in there now. And I do think layout wise, that was one of the biggest things hindering this room. Like we were blocking that amazing feature, the bay window. And now I just feel like even the flow in here just feels, it feels bigger to me. Painted the radiator. Painted is, the radiator. Which is fabulous, radiator. blends in, lovely. The nightstands are great. The yellow is also something that I would never have picked. I think it works so well with the other colors. So like my final project was a lot of small projects that were mm -hmm. customizing. Like we did everything, the ceilings, the trim, the walls, all the same color, mm -hmm. but then we needed to add the personality and add the vibrancy that you have throughout the rest of your home. There are so many patterns and so many textures, but they all kind of work together. 
Yeah, this valance all the way across that has the same wallpaper over here. You did so many little projects, Monica. That is really my favorite part because it's taking what everybody can have, making small little changes to make it just right for you guys. And hopefully you feel like this is a place you now want to come to, you want to spend time in. I think it is. Yeah. I think you nailed it. I think it's great. We really, really like it. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so, so glad. <laughs> Okay, that's a wrap on another Lowe's Weekender Makeover. I know the style of this bedroom isn't everybody's style, but I would still love for you to leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite part of this makeover was. And as always, all of the things, believe it or not, that you see in this space are from Lowe's. And we'll put all the links in the description below. And before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss a single thing. Thanks, friends.